So, but, but, but here's the thing though. And, and like, if we can get into the X's and O's of this stuff, it's really interesting to me because Keegan has an incredible ability of forcing the head to the outside. Yeah. He makes you feel, he makes you feel like you're in more danger if you keep your head on the inside. Yeah. yeah. And then you pop your head yeah. out and you're like, Oh crap. What did I just do? Um, was that yeah. a conversation that had that happened in the room? Uh, for sure. Yeah. Because here's another great thing about David Carr is there's it's dialogue back and forth. And I described this on interviews mm. before, where it's awesome, where maybe I bring an idea that's like, hey, let's work on this, and then he'll kind of mold it and change it. Does that make sense? Because, yeah. you know, I see my I see it one way, and then he'll add and we'll kind of turn, create something new out of it. Does that make sense? So that's certainly sure. how that was. If I remember correctly, I think a lot of the working through that we were doing was like, hey, but when I get stuck here, you know, obviously I'm like, hey, hide your ankles so he can't, you know, get, stick your dick in a position where you want to pop your head out. Um, but I think we had kind of landed on like, Hey, when you hit, there's a point where, you know, you got the corner, you don't. And if you don't, you just mm. you can, you can clear out, you can release, you don't have to stay in there. Um, so there's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think yeah. and he just, I call it falling in love different. with the leg. Oh yeah. yeah. No, I, I, you I know, some guys get away with this. Fall in love with it. Uh, yeah. 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 But he, he's an example of a guy that can do it. You know, there's certainly some guys in our team where, I'm right away saying, dude, when you're getting long, release and come out. You know, David does it. You know, he can he can flip his shoulders <laughs> yeah. backwards and he'll he'll find a way. Um, so there's definitely some discussion there where it was like, hey, if you're telling me that like you just said that like, hey, I'm I can't finish, I'm in a bad position, I have to pop my head outside. Well, let's work it, right? So we you know we got a game plan if we happen to get there, and at least I know where we want to be, or you know where you want to be. And then besides that, like if you are not on the corner, clear and get out. Like release, yeah. dude, you can hit 10 more shots. Like you can get yeah. to guys' legs, you know. Live to so, fight another day in there for sure. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Which is it's oh. uh it's funny for me as a coach too, where I'm kind of a I'm not an ego guy, but a lot of, a lot of my me- mentality is like, hey, like I'm gonna wrestle how I wrestle. Um and that was actually getting to my next point though, me. coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, that was the next that was getting to my next point. You were a stubborn son of a gun. You were a stubborn son of a gun. Yeah. It was lefty high crotch or or, uh-huh. or be damned, right? Um yeah. have you backed away from that as a yeah. coach? No, I think I mean, yeah, to your point. Um for sure. Um I whatever I was going was that I'm certainly stubborn. You wrestle, focus on what you're good at and know what the other guys do, but only focus on you. I think that especially this is a very unique example. We have two such high level guys that it's literally, it's like chess match. Sure. Sure. We need to change who we are, but let's just, you know, strategically, you know, just put, like I started off with, put ourselves in positions where we're good and Oh, we lost him. Dag on it. Hey. <laughs> You can't hear me. I was muted. Uh, I said, when he gets back, we're going, we're basically, he left off with, you don't need to change who you are. Just put yourself mm-hmm. in position to be successful. Right. 